alien bodies in little capsules. Slightly freaky and terrifying. <laughs> My imagination's going wild. Wow, this is trippy. Whoa. We're Marion and Chris. In 2018, we quit the nine to five and bought Trudy, our camper van. We are currently on an adventure to drive the circumference of the world. Back in 1947, the US Air Force, based here in Wazwell, claimed that they found an unidentified flying disc that crash landed. It hit the media and then they later retracted their statement saying that it was actually a weather balloon. The incident was actually forgotten about until the late 70s when the retired Lieutenant Colonel Jesse Marcel, uh, who was involved in the original finding, actually said that he believed it was extraterrestrial. And in this video, we're going to explore the town and see what we can uncover. So is it real or is it all a conspiracy? As we're driving into Roswell, the first thing that you see is these incredible welcome signs. And it's completely covered in stickers from people that have visited. And oh look, there's Tread the Globe. And we just spotted that somebody's broken down and needs a little bit of a hand. So while we were driving along, we spotted this car uh, with this, this guy stood next to it with some jump leads. And uh, he's actually helping uh, this guy here who uh, looks like he's broken down. He's getting a nice warm welcome from the locals. Looks a bit scared. That one's lost its head. <laughs> and there you go, they've crash landed. How nice is that, that the guy's giving him a jump start? We've also noticed that there are little lights all the way around the ship, so at night time it would be lit up. It's incredibly cool. Wow, we were not expecting this. In Roswell, uh, behind this sign, we've just noticed I saw something scurrying around and there are mounds. So I think they're either prairie dogs or meerkats. Do you have meerkats here? And uh, this is one of the first things you see as you drive into the town Already you can see that this extraterrestrial UFO thing has a real influence here. Okay, now we are heading into the town. So we've parked up right in the heart of the town centre and I'm pretty sure that parking is free because I can't see a parking meter anywhere. Marianne's just putting the steering lock on in case Trudy gets abducted by aliens. I have two steering locks. That's how much I love my van. There you go. Always protect the van. So we thought it would be a good place to start at the visitor's centre. So we've gone in there, some brochures, some information about the town, not all alien re related. Um, and we bought a sticker for Trudy. I think she has to have a Roswell sticker. In fact, I bought two. <laughs> Everything in Roswell seems to be themed. This is for cigarette butts. To encourage people not to drop them on the floor, they've created this voting litter box. And the question is, is there life on other planets? And you can choose to put your cigarette butt in the yes or the no. And clearly people believe there is life on other planets. We've only been walking around the town for a few minutes, really. And already there's a massive alien influence. Look. Even the street lights are shaped as alien faces. And if you're wondering what Roswell looked like before it became famous for aliens and UFOs, in 1915 it would have looked something like this.
So we've just come down and uh, there's this lovely little park just off the main street with this very cool sign behind. So it makes sense that the first place we visit is the UFO Research Center. Ooh. And you get to show the world your hometown and you put in your postal address and it shows everybody where you're from. And it's at the UFO Museum. Ooh. So as you come in, the first thing you get is a chronological timeline from when the event happened back in 1947. It's already got a really cool feel. It's really interesting coming in. They've got little videos that play to help tell the story and interviews from people back in the day. I'm actually finding it more confusing. Why? Well, because you sort of think it's definitely aliens and then you hear another interview and you're like, no, it's not. And then you're like, could <laughs> it be? Maybe it isn't. Oh. Very interesting. Area 51, no trespassing beyond this point. Here on the wall, you can read all the old newspaper articles. Some say the army have found a flying saucer. Some say they haven't got a flying saucer and some say it's a weather balloon. Smells like a cover up to me. <laughs> President Donald Trump says he's heard some interesting things about Roswell, but he's not sharing what. So then this section here, they've got all the movies like Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Communion, Independence Day, Men in Black, Roswell. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you want to watch them all again. Uh, we are having a movie night with some Boom Chicka Pop. <laughs> More on that later. <laughs> yeah, we should definitely re-watch some of these movies. And they got this huge display from when the earth stood still. So right in the middle of the uh, museum, they've got this very cool set. It was actually made uh, for a TV show on the Travel Channel. It's slightly freaky and terrifying. <laughs> it's the reality of a YouTuber sitting on the floor in the middle of a museum yeah, surrounded by people. <laughs> so at the end of the museum here, they've got these alien bodies in little capsules and in, in tanks of liquid. It's not good. It's really <laughs> not good. You know when you watch those movies and there's like aliens in tanks and they just suddenly open their eyes and look at you? Ugh. That is what it exactly looks like. Can we go now? <laughs> so over here they've got an alien on a hospital bed. I think it's a reconstruction of the famous autopsy that uh, was seen online. They've got here look, different types of alien beings that people have apparently seen and different crafts. So like this one at Chicago airport that was seen by so many people and then apparently it took off and went vertical and was seen by loads of staff at the airport. Yeah, I think the thing for me, because there are so many military personnel, uh, professional people, local people, it's really, it's real evidence that makes you think that it could or probably is true. And then this section here is dedicated to alien implants. It's a thing. And there's a bit of a graphic video where they're taking one out. I'm not actually going to show you. Is that not weird? Marianne? <laughs> stop watching. So that was really fun. What did Marianne buy? Living in a van you're not allowed to collect stuff. <laughs> but I got myself an alien driving license. I'm loving this alien stuff. <laughs> There's so many little fun shops going around with alien stuff. Here you go. Aliens and pets welcome. Humans take a... <laughs> take a what? What are we taking? I don't oh know. Oh my god. Oh. Well there's an 
Alien on a Roadrunner. I reckon it's time for a coffee now, though. What do you oh, reckon? Yeah. That's the first one I've actually seen. The old school newspaper stands. Oh yeah. Coffee time. So we just had a fantastic coffee and a sandwich at the Stella Coffee Company. Thank you ladies for looking after us. Aww. And they even gave us a sticker for the van. They did. <laughs> Warm welcome at Stella's. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's suddenly got really windy. And sandstorm. And there's sand going in my eyes. Okay, we're walking down the street, following the footprints. So we're just walking along and seeing the spacewalk. So we're gonna go and see what it's about. Let's alien. go for a spacewalk. Alien! <laughs> there's an alien! <laughs> there's another one! <laughs> So what is it? What is it? Well, it's a my husband built it. Oh, okay. Um, this is his artwork, and it's like a, it's like you get taken onto a, um, a spaceship. Yeah. And then you drop out into outer space onto another planet. You go through a wormhole. A, a wormhole. A mutant forest. And can, I'm and excited. You can go, you go as many times as you want to. Pictures and That's videos amazing. come out great. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go in. <laughs> I'm excited. No, I love these. <laughs> This is very cool, isn't it? Okay. Let's see wow, this is trippy. This is the black hole. What? I love this. There's like little rockets and spaceships moving and is this just not like freaky? This way, humanoid. Beware. <laughs> There's a body hanging upside down here with spiders on it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> How fun is that? <laughs> that is so much fun. I survived the black hole. You were abducted. <laughs> well, that was fun. Took you back to your childhood. A little bit of a fun, childish, oh, that's a noisy car. A fun, childish, magical experience. It so, was yeah. Great fun. Great fun. So, here's the next stop Alien Zone. Let's go and see what this is about. So this place is set up for you to take those fun Instagram posts and just get in touch with your inner child. So uh, we're gonna go in, have some fun and take some crazy pictures. Marianne needs no encouragement whatsoever to be silly. So they've got all these little displays all the way down inside here. Release the child. My imagination's going wild. Oh, look, Fred, I've told you, I don't believe in aliens, but man, you looking a bit rough. Like any touristic place, they have lovely toilets that you can use at any time. Uh, excuse me. Oh! Do you mind? Bit of privacy. Oh! Man, Fred, that stinks. Blowing a hoolie this afternoon. Woo! It's very windy. And the dust! I have found a little shop that makes organic soaps. It smells delicious. And I met the lovely owner, Tana, as well, who makes all her soaps. A top tip for van life, uh, when you've got your dirty washing, I have a um, waterproof bag, a dry bag. I drop the soap in and use it there. And the essential oils just perfumes the clothes and stops <laughs> any smells. So if you're in Roswell, you should come down to Rustic Essentials. I'm not being paid to say this, but it is so lovely here and it smells delicious. <laughs> Aww. Thank you. <laughs> so 
So yeah, we've come down to the McDonald's here in town and even the McDonald's looks like a spaceship. I have never seen a McDonald's looking like that before. But I'm very thirsty, so we're gonna pop in for a quick drink. Oh, it's very hot today. It's a Scorchio. New Mexico is hot. So yeah, we just thought we'd come in and call off for a minute. And check out the only McDonald's in the world that has a spaceship attached. Oh, wowzers. It's very warm in the van. The heat coming out of that van. <laughs> Let a bit of air in. Oh, after that fantastic day walking around Roswell, we're gonna go and find somewhere to park up. There's apparently a Walmart just to the north of town, so we're gonna go and uh, try and park up there for the night. It's nearly at Walmart. I don't know whether you can see, but the dust, the air is so full of dust. Um, and up ahead, just from the wind today. There you go. Welcome to Walmart car park. There's a few camper van motorhomes there. And over there. That'll do. Let's put the chocks in the front. Oh, that wind is nuts today. Woo! Windy, windy! So, we thought we would treat ourselves because we've parked up right opposite the Panda Express Chinese. So we thought we'd go and have a Chinese. We would. We also had a mini disaster today. Marianne got a screw loose and one of the arms of my glasses has fallen off. So we need to keep a lookout for an, uh, a shop, an optician. Panda Express. We've seen these actually dotted around. It must be a chain. I have a confession. I have never, ever, ever, and this is no joke, I've reached 54. You know the little cartons, the little boxes that you see on the movies? I've never had one, so I'm <laughs> hoping that they have You may have them. Oh, it smells good. Oh, I have a box. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Look, they've got like a whole buffet thing going on here. I'm excited and I'm hungry. Okay, I a, might be living in Panda Express more often. A massive shout out to the girls and boys in Panda Express in Roswell. They are awesome. Thanks they for was, making us feel welcome. They were so shocked that I hadn't eat, that I hadn't had a box of noodles before, weren't they? <laughs> <laughs> what? So we have a huge bag of Chinese, okay. possibly over-ordered. No. It was $25 and I am very excited. Oh my goodness, lucky, lucky. I got beef and broccoli and ch uh, chow mein noodles. And you got them in your box, Marianne. I got them in boxes. Thanks, girls. I may have over-ordered. I got the large one, which actually comes with that plus an extra bit there. <laughs> okay, I am so excited. Let's just see, how does this taste? I'm expecting good things. Oh yeah, that's delicious. I think this might become a date night thing. What do you reckon? How do we not know about China Panda? Okay. Oh, no, it's Panda Express. Panda Express, China Panda, same sort of thing. Panda Express, there you go. We are officially Ooh. full. <laughs> we ate it all. No, we didn't. I can. I still have half of mine left. <laughs> I couldn't eat it all. I did a pretty good job, to be fair. So it's probably a good opportunity to finish the video by having a little reflection on the alien thing that we encountered today. What do you reckon? I went in absolutely convinced there are aliens and now I still think there are aliens, but I'm not sure if they came here. Oh, interesting. That's because you watched a video of the air balloon and you weren't quite sure. Yeah. I actually, after reading all that stuff in the museum, I'm like, there's got to be definitely aliens. They're I reckon. Absolutely aliens. I don't see how we can be the only living thing in such a big expanse of the universe. But there you go. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below whether you think extraterrestrials really do exist. And uh, we're going to see you on the next episode where we're 
heading to a very cool white park. Yes, we are. See you next time. I'm just going to have a shower. Do you mind putting the rest of my dinner in the fridge? Yeah, no worries. What the hell is an alien doing in the fridge? Oh, what the hell are you doing in the fridge? Guys, it's the end of the show. Haven't you had enough alien love today already? Anyway, we will see you soon. Take care and don't forget to subscribe. See you later.